lovelies. I hope you're all well. So today we're in the iOS app. So that would be your iPhone or your iPad. And I'm going to show you how you can hide layers of an image and unhide them as well so that you can make changes without actually having to move each of your individual layer pieces. This will make your life so much easier, especially when you're going to change a lot of parts of an image. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my layers panel and that can be found at the bottom of your canvas. And you can see here that I've got each of my layers. Now, when you select a layer in your layers panel, it will turn a dark gray and you can select more than one layer at once. If you hold one down with one finger and then hold the other down, you can select two at a time. Now, if I select my image using the canvas, it's going to select each of those layers. And because they're all grouped at the moment, if I select the eye down at the bottom here, I'm going to hide everything. And if I unhide it, it will bring everything back. Now, if I select a layer using the layers panel and I hide it, it will do just the one. What I like to do is to ungroup all my layers because I just think it's a lot easier. So I'm going to select everything in my layers panel just by selecting group at the top. And you can see under actions here, I've got the option to ungroup. So that's now ungrouped my pumpkin, my orange pumpkin, from the rest of my layers. But this set of layers is still all grouped together. So again, I can ungroup that. And now I can select individual layers using my canvas and using my layers panel. It's really useful to be able to hide your layers, especially if you're going to make lots of changes. And the other reason is because you can't always get to some of the layers using your canvas. So for example, if I want to get to this kind of amber layer, I can't get to it on my canvas because this teal layer is over it. It's actually larger than where I'm trying to get to. So what I can do is I can obviously select my layers using my layers panel, but I can also hide that layer that's causing me problems. And I can hide this one too. Each of these is then easily accessible. And of course, if I unhide those layers I've hidden, they'll come back in exactly the same spot. This is really, really useful, especially when you're doing things like contouring, slicing, if you're going to weld things, attach things. It's really handy to be able to know how to hide and unhide layers from your image. I hope this has been useful. As always, thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you all again soon. Bye.